Pam te tu pam 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 te tu te tu te bum bum bum. Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a pencil case out of a pair of old jeans. So I have no idea what I'm doing, so this should be fun. First, can we acknowledge my beautiful tripod that I have right here? I have some books and then a fan and then a lamp and that that's for that's for the camp my phone is saying. So what you are going to need is one pair of jeans, one pair of fabric scissors, and one ruler. One ruler. You already said that and a needle and a thread. They're in a cup so I don't lose them. What is that? What you're going to do now is take one leg of the pan and just lay it out. And you're going to want to measure it to how long, how long you want the pencil case to be. Moose's name was Fred. What? What the? You're gonna measure six inches and you're gonna put a little I'm just gonna put a dot where six inches would be from up from the seam and over from where the point you just plotted and you're gonna go eight and a half inches and plot another point just draw, connect the dots so you plot at two points and then the dots are going to connect it down to the seam from your first dot. Then do the same for the other dot down towards the seam and then connect the two dots like we're doing a dot to dot. So now that you have your scissors you're going to want to cut both layers of the pants on the line that you just created. Then you're done with your pants for now, so you can throw them to the side once you have cut out. And this is how big my pencil case is going to be. Your needle and your thread. And you're going to take them out of the cup. Take it and just like fold it in half through the needle so that both ends are at the same length. So now, you're, since now that your needle's threaded, you can put your thread back in the cup. Gonna turn it inside out so the inside of the pant leg, like this part, is now the outside. You're gonna hand stitch this side, you're gonna hand stitch this side. If you have a sewing machine, you can do that, but I don't have a sewing machine. Uh, but, but I don't have. If you have a sh. So one half of your one side of your pencil case fabric whatever you want to call it and if you want to do a design on it which i am going to do you're going to want to like flip it inside out so the stitches are just made around the inside so then your stitches on the inside like that and whatever side you want to be the front doesn't really matter we'll do this side you want to draw out your design so if you want to letters, write out your letters, and you're going to take some embroidery thread, and you're just going to thread it through the needle, and you're just going to do a regular back stitch over the letters that you have created. Once you're done with your design, and I definitely did a messed up cloud on purpose because clouds are all unique and they can, they can be anything they want, you know? And boom. You've got one design. Alright, so put it back over inside out, you guys. And now you're gonna sew the other side. 
So now that you have finished both stitches, both sides of your pencil case, you're gonna wanna flip it inside out, so. Houston, we have a problem. Inside out so that your design is clear on the front. And I did a little cloud. It's a little messed up, just like me. But ah! okay. And now you're gonna wanna get the pair of jeans back. We have the pair of jeans back, and you want to get this part with the button, and you're going to draw a square around the button, and then you're going to cut out that square. And I just like drew a small little square around the button, just chop, 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 chop. Perfect. So now perfect. Have this button on a little piece of square fabric. When I grab your pencil case again, what you're gonna wanna do is sew it to the outside. In the middle, right in the middle, just like this. Just sew it on. So once you have your button all sewed on, it should look something like this. And I just, my fabric had multiple layers, so I just put the needle through the bottom three layers and not the top so the thread wouldn't show out the top and then what you're gonna need to do now is cut a hole right behind the button with your scissors the deep you want it to be just don't cut your fingers off snip so you would just button it and there you have your cute little pencil case guys thanks for the two people who watch this